Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy and today I am coming to you from Salmon Lake RV Park here in Grapeland, Texas. I am actually here for a casita rally, but I wanted to show you the park. Um, it's known for big festivals every year. There's a bluegrass festival they hold here and I think a lot of events here. Um, so I just wanted to show you around. There's a lot of unique features, a lot of old buildings. You can see the jail behind me, but there's a lot of buildings like that on the property. So stay tuned and I'll show you around. I don't like that you can't reserve a particular spot ahead of time. You just get there, drive around and pick one. This resort is great for rallies and big events. However, it's grass and sand, so it does make it a little bit messier in the camper. So there are buildings like this across the entire property where some of them are actually cabins. They just don't look like it from the outside, but a lot of them are things that you can go in. Also offers cabin rentals down here by the water and you can swim down here they have a slide that's open seasonally of course but it's a really pretty little place just kind of hid back here in the back of the park So I didn't know these train tracks were down by the little pond on the property, but thanks to my fellow YouTubers, Jesse and Tyler, at Travel Like No One Else, they had already been down there and told me that I should go check it out. It was kind of a cool hidden find. found out they actually have a small little working train that goes through here they use for festivals and events. thought that was kind of cool. If you follow the train tracks all the way around, they come back out on the other side of the little pond. Even when you first come in, the place that you check in is very authentic to the style of the park. It's this little mercantile building. It's very, very cute here. I thought it was kind of fun to see people just sitting out on the porches of these old buildings like they would have been years ago. No cell phones in sight, just enjoying conversation. So they have several stages like this set up at the park and they have a yearly bluegrass festival here. She actually told me that they had a Russian music festival here last week, which I thought was extremely interesting. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Remember to enjoy those little things and we'll see you next time.